Mark Mitchell. Mr. Move that the question oh, be now put. I'll take uh, Sewer William Sarah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, the, the bill, sir, as I said in an earlier contribution, uh, really is flawed from the basis, from the get-go. And, and therefore, it becomes quite difficult for the New Zealand public to find any genuine desire by this government, as presented by the this, this significant um, uh, change to the Social Security Act, that this is going to address the problems that people currently face. I recall submissions to the select committee process where there was a, a call by submitters to please support parents in poverty to become good parents. Because insofar as the public is concerned, it appears, sir, that this bill is targeting unemployed people, targeting solo parents, targeting generally low-income communities that are just struggling to make ends meet, that are doing it tough in this economic environment. And nothing in this bill, whether part one, part two, uh, all the, the four parts of this bill, nothing in this bill provides any hope to the people who are trying to do their best in raising young children who struggle to try and meet the rising cost of childcare facilities, who are trying to make ends meet in terms of providing food on the table. And I'll give you some examples, Mr Chair. Um, in Mangere, there was some vacancies available, seven jobs in the local uh, Kata Halt there. Over 200 people applied for that job. And I understand that People sat around, even though the company had filled the seven positions, they continued to sit around wanting to, to know from the employer whether there were going to be other jobs. So uh, again, I go back to the, the first statement I made. The premise that, that this bill is based on is flawed and wrong and just totally unacceptable, and that's evidenced by the overwhelming opposition uh, put forward by the community who made submissions here. I know of people who are currently under the Ministry of Social Development System who have been told to go out and find 10 employers, get 10 interviews, to show the uh, genuineness that they are looking for work. Now, 175,000 people, sir, are on the unemployment benefit, actively looking for work. But over 200,000 are people who the Salvation Army classify as discouraged unemployed. These are people who have been unemployed for more than a year, who through no fault of their own are unable to find work because the jobs just aren't there. And so, again, I make the point, nothing in this bill indicates to the unemployed 175,000, to the discouraged over 200,000 discouraged unemployed, nothing indicates that this is going to somehow help them get out of the rut that they find themselves in. And what is gravely disappointing for many, sir, is that under the, they were, they were promised they were promised by this government. They were promised a brighter future. They were promised 170,000 jobs. None of those promises, as so far as the unemployed, the discouraged unemployed, solo parents have panned out for them. And, and in many ways, sir, that's a bad look for politicians generally. And when the government makes those promises and fail to deliver, um, it makes every politician in this House look bad. Um, it is sad, sir, that when this bill will come into force, there will be sanctions uh, upon those who are receiving the benefit and who fail to be able to find work. And if their benefit is cut, what then happens to them? 
What then happens to their ongoing living expenses? What happens to those children in those families, Mr. Chairman? Sir William Seo. Because this is already happening today, and this bill is going to accelerate that and enforce that. And and in so far as communities, working class communities throughout New Zealand, this is an attack on their dignity. It is an attack and undermining of their desire to work. And I think if the government hadn't placed the foundation of this bill on such false um, and flawed logic, then we would be here discussing how many jobs are required and just the kind of activities that the government should be funding in order to ensure that, the, the, our, that jobs are made available. But it's just not jobs, sir. If, you have, if there is a solo parent, and the example I gave earlier of Charlotte Murray with two young children, the, when, we, when this bill comes into force, what she'll find herself in is not only the stress of having to go out and find work, but it is work that pays enough to be able to support her and her two young children, the two, age two and five year old. Now, I would have thought, sir, that a good step by this government, if they failed to address the, the need for job creation, is at least try to alleviate the barriers between those who are unemployed those who are discouraged unemployed from meet the needs, the barriers that they face and, and being able to match them with whatever jobs might be available. But the problem is nothing in this bill again addresses the barriers that submitters have identified, the barriers to work, which is first having those jobs, second is to, if they don't have the skills, what opportunities are available to them when this government has shut down access to tertiary education, shut down access to a whole range of community and adult education that were once there? Now, the government keeps harping on about those dependent beneficiaries. Kick them in the teeth, they will. The, the problem, sir, if they look back to the last Labour government, that last Labour government were able to create jobs, reduce the number of unemployment, reduce those who were on the benefit, and that should show to this government that if you're wanting welfare reform, you've got to create jobs, not kick people who are already struggling to make ends meet, not kick people who are hard done by the economic uh, failure of this government to meet the economic challenges, but that's what's happening. And, and I don't know, Mr Chairman, whether this government has taken the opportunity to read and consider the many, many submissions and the constant emails that come through from mums, dads, unemployed, people without skills, people with qualifications, tertiary qualifications, who today continue to look for work. It's wrong, sir, when somebody who graduates at tertiary level with a degree, fails to find a job within six months, fails to find a job within a year, fails to find a job within two years. It is wrong, sir, when we see people who are tertiary qualified driving taxis just to make ends meet. And, okay, and, <laughs> and, 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 and to make it things worse, sir, not only does this bill put people between a rock and a hard place, but the other legislations, the other legislations which seem to be consistent with the theme of this bill, that is kick people in the teeth, kick them in the guts when they're down, all of that, sir, fails to deliver, well, it's clause uh, 30, 100, let me see, clause 124. Of course, 124, okay? And, 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 and what this does, sir, 124, part two, you can look at the schedule, or clause 107. That's right. 100, 100, clause 107, sir, makes reference to those on the sickness benefits. Sir, 
and that's a real bad thing for this government to be kicking people on sickness beneficiary who can't help themselves. What a... Um, Jamie Lee Ross. Question be now oh, put. Come on. Uh, the question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Party votes called for us, the clerk. Order. There's a party vote in place. <coughs> New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Hoare. 1 opposed. Members, the ayes are 64, the noes are 57. The question will be put. First, we have the Minister's amendments as set out on SOP number 199. The question is that the amendments be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. Party votes called for us. The clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. Mana. 1 opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Hoare. 1 opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60, the amendments are agreed to. The question now is a part two is amended. Stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. Ayes have it. Party votes called for us to clerk for party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand first. Seven votes opposed. <coughs> Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. Part two is amended. Will stand part. We now move to the schedules, schedule one, and we have the minister's, um, minister's amendment as set out on SOP number 199. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those, those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. Party votes called for us, the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand first. Seven votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. The Minister's amendments are agreed to. The question is that Schedule 1 is amended stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. So ayes have party it. votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Māna. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. Schedule 1 as amended will stand part. 
Washington. We now move to Schedule 2, and we have the Minister's amendments as set out on SOP number 199. The question is that the Minister's amendments be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. <coughs> party votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 84 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. Seven votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60, the amendments are agreed to. The question is that sh Schedule 2 is amended. Stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Ayes have it. Party votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand first. Seven votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Manga. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. Schedule 2 is amended. Will stand part. We now move to sh Schedule 3. We have the Minister's amendments are set out on SOP number 199. The question is that the amendments be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Ayes party have votes it. called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 84 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. Seven votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. The amendment is agreed to. The question is that Schedule 3 is amended. Stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Horan. 1 opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. Schedule 3 is amended, will stand part. We move to Schedule 4. We have the Minister's Amendment as set out on SOP number 199. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Ayes have party it. votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. Seven votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Māna. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. <coughs> Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. The amendment is agreed to. The question is that Schedule 4 is amended, stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. So the ayes have it. Party votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. Schedule 4, as amended, will stand part. We move to Schedule 5. The question is that Schedule 5 stand part. 
Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. Ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. Mm. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Horan. 1 opposed. Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60. Schedule 5 will stand part. We now move to Schedule 6. We have the Minister's amendment to set out on SAP number 199. The question is that the amendment be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. Ask the clerk for party vote. New Zealand National. 59.